Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Some of you, it can be that one person here was already committed, but that won't be for everyone. So it can be someone's family is coming through. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Some of you are ignoring this situation or you're not giving it as much attention as you once were. A few of you may have even blocked communication. Um, there may have been, this may be an X I'm picking up on. Four of Wands in reverse death. That situation is over and you're holding back and you're focused on yourself, your finances. It's always, it's almost building yourself up again. But yeah, work seems to be your priority here work or just your day-to-day -day. how this person is viewing you we have six of pentacles upright knight of swords in reverse it's almost like they feel you're not taking them seriously anymore um you may be giving here and there but yeah you're not fully uh, focused on this individual so your communication may be inconsistent they feel like you're breadcrumbing them really why you give out of spite you're angry that is how they're seeing you you're playing mind games with them some of them feel that you have someone some of them feel you may have other people in your energy that you're giving to more than just them some of you aren't even you're not in contact with this person because five of swords can definitely be silent treatment because you feel this person's bad news and <laughs> their waste of time right yeah so i do see blockages in communication yeah that you're avoiding them you're enjoying life that is how they're seeing you you're moving forward and you're upset with them or you're holding on to some sort of grudge is how they're seeing you how they're feeling about you or will be feeling about you we have four of wands in reverse knight of wands very unstable energy which makes sense why you aren't taking them seriously right because they may be someone who's flighty in and out and they're not bringing commitment your way it's a player non-committal energy with the four of wands in reverse and that may have caused one or um, a lot of disappointment if you wanted something more stable, right? Why is Four of Wands in reverse here for how this person's feelings? It, feelings is of sword. I can't talk, Libra, but. Yeah, something about an unstable found. Uh, not the, it's not built on a solid foundation, is what is coming through. This person knows what they're doing. Lovers. Some of you, this person had more than you, right? Which is why I'm getting multiple people here. Perhaps they wanted friends with benefits or they're just looking for passion. They are physically attracted to you, but that's just about it. Their intentions, we have world in reverse. Yeah, they're still wanting to hold on to this there's they feel that this isn't over they're wanting to come back towards you with passion it seems yeah page of wands wanting to send you a message flirt with you some of you this is an online connection but it's almost a fling vibe i'm sure, than anything because they're coming through as emotionally unavailable here but if that is the case, I'm seeing the Queen of Swords looking at the Seven of Swords. So, yeah, if you listen to your intuition, you'll know. Yeah, they want to date you. Star, Three of Cups, take you out for drinks, meet up, something physical. What action they'll be taking towards you? We have Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's someone who's emotionally unavailable. Sometimes this Queen in reverse can be very needy. Right? So codependency, I definitely see it on this person's end if that is the case. It's 
a very needy energy and others of you it's just someone who's emotionally closed off because the challenge between the both of you is four of pentacles someone is unable or unwilling to give right it's a closed off energy why is queen of cups in reverse here for what action this person will be taking oops no don't do that devil fell on the ground yeah this person's a little bit oh i'd be careful of this energy um this is a terrible this pairing is according to me is one of the most toxic uh combinations um some of you this person could be they have some vices here um there's something perhaps drugs alcohol um is what i'm seeing here some unhealthy behavior and this person does have a tendency to be very obsessive and codependent and their target is you right now page of wands page of swords it's almost an energy vampire i'm also getting that i want one more for the queen of cups in reverse Huh. yeah and some of you it can be a third party here right giving to more than one person with the two hands but you know regard third party or not libra i'm getting a very needy energy this person won't be an equal um, they'll take more than they give is what i'm getting they're not in a good space to offer you anything substantial some of you they could be going through some issues that don't have to do with you and that is yeah they have a lot of healing to do if that is the case but they're definitely emotionally unavailable and they're bringing more passion towards you how you're feeling knight of cups in reverse justice in reverse yeah you're holding back emotionally because you're saying if you're not giving to me four of pentacles then i'm not giving to you right i want fairness i want balance and if you can't give that to me then i'll find it with someone else right but i think you did want this person and you did have emotions for them because if we look at the knight of cups he's facing the queen of cups right you're looking towards the spread clarify yeah justice in reverse two different decks but the situation seemed to throw you off balance here as well right Perhaps a lot of moodiness coming through. Yeah, as I say that four of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person's inconsistency. They're immature in their ways or how they approach you comes across as very immature. And some of you, they can be younger than you. It won't be for everyone. Why is Knight of Cups here? Yeah, you're in your power here. See, this is the issue, right? You're coming through as the Queen of Wands. This person's coming through as the Knight and the Page. They're not on your level here, but you're fully in control of yourself in this situation is what I'm seeing. You're independent. This person's the needy one is what I'm seeing here. And yeah, you're, you're someone who is very attractive and it's not just your looks. It's the way you carry yourself. You believe in yourself and you're all about forward movement here yeah you're very much you know what's up here emperor eight of wands it's a very mature vibe why is justice in reverse here i i'll get one clarifier for this card why is justice in reverse here for how libra will be feeling temperance yeah it's it's telling me the same thing the situation had you feeling very stuck and unstable not knowing where you stood perhaps even very weak here strength right there's there was lack of direction here and some of you there may be literal distance here but yeah ever since you've put up like stronger boundaries or you've distanced yourself you're feeling more peaceful really temperance and some of you the issue here was that you both are very different 
the way you see the world, your viewpoint. It's fire and water, right? So that they don't mix well, perhaps. And that is what led to this. It's almost a lopsided effort now, right? And that is how this person was seeing you. Your outcome, we have ten of wands. Their outcome, we have seven of wands. You're almost at your wit's end here. You feel this is a burden. And I want to clarify this. Some of you, it can be you have a lot on your plate here as well. So it's a busy period for you. Why is ten of wands here? Ace of wands in reverse. Some of you, you know, four of wands in reverse again. Say you were committed to, committed to this person, you were in a relationship, some of you could have put in a lot of effort, right? You did everything in your hands to save this, and you're still hanging in there, right? Ten of wands in reverse is I'm giving up, but you're still holding on here. So you may not be ready to completely let go with the ace of wands in reverse. Say it was upright. If it was like this, I'd say you're ready for a new cycle, right? But it's coming through like this. And this person was feeling unfinished business with you. So yeah, part of you're still holding on to uh, this connection or something that happened here between the both of you. Let's get one more for the Ten of Wands here, Libra, for your outcome. Yeah, you still watch them, Page of Swords, through this reading, but you're also not coming together with them. And some of you definitely, work work is on your mind here. You're working hard. Some of you do something for a living that, you know, you're hanging in there, but it's not, it doesn't excite you. You're not inspired by what you do. That is coming through as well. Let's see this person's outcome. Seven of Wands. What is this person doing? Why is Seven of Wands also? Yeah, you're both very busy and you have work on your mind. But if you've cut this person out or you're not communi communicating, they're feeling very anxious. Nine of Swords and confused. But I have to pay attention to where the king is looking. He's looking away from the spread, which tells me this person is distracted, right? And you're facing away from the king. So you both have your backs turned to one another in the outcome. This person goes to their work to distract themselves, is what I'm getting. But they still want to communicate and reconcile with you. Yeah, this person's very jealous, possessive when it comes to you, and they're still holding on to you. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo coming through. This is my card of your mind. It's very possessive. So yeah, I don't see this person backing down easily, Libra. They're still wanting to give to the Six of Pentacles. responsiveness yeah they'll be sending you a message and some of you will respond because he's calling out to her and she's running to him so the attraction is mutual if the reading is resonating and we have loneliness ah uh, i don't see loneliness in your energy in this spread but i definitely see it for this person's actions um because i was telling you they're codependent needy Emotionally, they're a little bit and floating on air. Some of you, there may be distance here. Heartbreak, withdrawal, disillusionment. Yeah, someone here is holding on to how the other person made them feel. 
And it feels like it's this person, but it can be a mutual energy. It's like you felt on top of the world, or this person did. If you, you know, you're not communicating with this person, they're having a hard time because they do miss you in the outcome. Yeah, wasn't I telling you they try to distract themselves with their work? It doesn't matter what I do to distract myself. It always leaves me feeling empty and alone. That's the Queen of Cups in reverse energy. Very drained. They try to distract themselves with their business, their work, their school. And this loneliness is their energy then. Right? What does this mean? I chose the wrong person. So there are some regrets here. Uh, it was picking up a third party for some of you. With their lovers can also be a decision between two people, right? I'm obsessed with you. Uh, yeah, I'm so crazy for you. I do whatever it takes to always have you in my life. I'm telling you, it's sort of your mind and you do consume with the nine of swords you they think about you a lot you consume their thoughts and we have devil upright clarifying queen of cups in reverse i don't think you realize i was telling you i i dislike this combination right queen of cups and devil this is an energy you know we say obsession um but this is an energy it's so bad that it's this person thinks about you when they wake up, um, they think about you when they're eating, when they're having a shower, when they're spending time with their family, before they go to sleep. That is how deep this obsession goes. It's a, very unhealthy. It's not that flattering, like, oh, they're thinking about me. It's okay, we have a problem here and this person needs a little bit of help. <laughs> That's how bad it is from what I've observed. I've called you, I've called you so many times, but hung up before it, get, it rang, I get so nervous. So this person may have tried to reach out or they're contemplating, right? They want to with the page of wands and a lot of you, um, they will muster up that courage to send you that message. A few of you, another message I'm getting here is that this may be someone new you're getting to know. You're very guarded for how they were seeing you. You're willing to give a little bit, bits and pieces of yourself, but you're not ready to rush in into anything, right? With the Knight of Swords in reverse. So you're really thinking over things and you have strong boundaries um, because you've learned from your past relationships, right? Or just experiences in general. And this is someone who's seen your pictures or I don't know how they've seen you and they're almost obsessively thinking about, you know, reaching out, letting their interest be known, but they're very insecure is what I'm getting. And in that case, the reading doesn't seem to be bad, right? Given that you don't have history with this person. But yeah, I'd recommend taking things slow with this individual because in their feelings they're not the most unstable right for the time being they're only bringing passion and some communication your way but in the outcome i do like this energy king of pentacles usually one of the more long-term committed kings right but yeah past or new libra you're dealing with someone who is very je jealous Likely they have strong second house, eighth house placements or strong Scorpio in their chart. You inspired me to change. I'm a better person because of you and I love you for that. Yeah, those of you that you've been on again, off again, it's a past energy. They are trying to change their ways. Let's get one more from this person to you, Libra. What do they want to say? I feel terrible for ghosting you and avoiding you. I didn't have the courage to say what needed to be said. And if that is the case, this person's looking back in your direction. Okay, Libra. A lot of you, because I have, I really miss you. 
I see you in everything. You're always with me. Yeah, this person's clinging, clinging, Libra. They're holding on to you, your energy, which is why if you don't want to hear about them in your readings, they're coming through because they haven't let you go, right? So that is what the cards, it's, they're obsessed with you. And they're not letting any other energy come through for a lot of you. But I'm also getting a situation where someone here could have been already committed with children, right? Which is why they're keeping their distance with the Seven of Wands. But they're also having a hard time completely releasing you. That's for those of you that you're dealing with someone already married or in a long-term commitment, right? So there's a few things going on. I'm, I can definitely see a new energy that's intimidated by you. They're very attracted to you physically. And then I see a third party situation here, but I also see a toxic ex here. So there's a lot going on. I don't think, Libra, that you need this reading because you're in a very empowered energy. So you already know what is going on. What in blessings. Things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. So it's almost they're seeing a win-win outcome. Wow, we also have build anew. Don't kill yourself. Wow. Don't kill yourself. Ten of Wands. He looks like he's about to pass out. It's exhaustion, right? So they're saying don't kill yourself trying to fix what is beyond repair. This is your chance to build something different. Yeah. So they're wanting you to flip this Ace of Wands upright. They want you to drop this burden and start afresh. Build anew is what they're saying. And it may seem difficult, right? It hasn't been easy. You've you've been through, right, from the ace to the ten. So some of you, it's been months, years, right? But it may not seem like it right now, but there is sort of a blessing in disguise, is what I'm trying to say. So it may seem difficult right now, but from a year or two years from now, you'll look back and you'll realize it was for your best. It's for your highest good. We have self-love. Awaken thy love within you. Attune your heart to love and your energy will connect to the flow of the universe. So if that is something you feel you're lacking, they're wanting you to work on that. Work on self-love. But I don't see that. Queen of Wands upright. I think you're already doing that. Right? And we have friendships. Get ready to meet new people or connect deeper with friends. It will help bring new energy to your soul and you need this. Some of you are just feeling very bogged down, you know, bored with life, doing the same thing over and over again. Perhaps getting outside, hanging out with friends, meeting new people will really help sort of revi revitalize. Yeah, they're wanting you to be curious about everything. They're saying have some fun. Don't take life so seriously. This is what is the message. But yes, Libra, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. And I will see you next week. Bye.